Hello, everyone. This is、uh, Jim Gao. Welcome to the Hash Out Channel. Today, let's talk about、uh, the 5G network and、uh, how the rollout of the 5G network will affect the adoption of、uh, Hedera Hashgraph. As、um, we probably heard, the first 5G network has been rolled out in South Korea. South Korea, in doing so, beat out both the U.S. and China. To be the first country that implemented 5G network in one of its cities, in Seoul, and、uh, both China and the U.S. has made 5G one of its top priorities in the coming years because they realize how important 5G will be for the adoption of the next wave of innovation, technical innovations such as AI and self-driving cars.、Uh, but personally, I think. Hashgraph will benefit the most from the rollout of the 5G network.、Uh, all the other DLT technologies, such as Bitcoin and、uh, Ethereum, will also benefit, but not as much as Hashgraph does. And the reason for that is Hashgraph uses the gossip on gossip protocol, which is based on the gossip protocol. And the gossip protocol, as we know, is the fastest protocol to transmit data. Across the network, it's so fast that its throughput, its speed, is only limited by the transaction speed of the network. So there is tremendous potential that 5G offers to Hashgraph because 5G, contrary to popular belief, that it not only improves the amount of data that you can download in a short period of time. But most significantly, 5G lowers the latency of each transaction, of each transfer of data. 4G network, for example, the latency for that is between 500 millisecond, half a second, to about a second. But for 5G, that latency has dropped to about 0.002 second. So dozens, even hundreds, times faster. And Because Hashgraph's main bottleneck is the network latency, is the speed of the network, is the speed of internet really. So once 5G network is rolled out, Hashgraph will be the first one, primary technology that will take advantage of this new technology that we call 5G.、Uh, the other blockchains, such as、uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they might not take, they cannot take advantage of this because. They're not. Their bottleneck is not the latency of their network. It's because their algorithm, for example, Bitcoin produces consensus every ten minutes. Each block comes out ten, every ten minutes. You cannot speed that up.、Uh, you, just theoretically, you know, it's designed that way. And although Ethereum is much faster, you know, each block comes out faster. Still, you know, there, it doesn't propagate at the speed of the network. You still need to wait for the block to be produced. So, network lat latency has less to do with these blockchains' performance than it has to do with the performance of Hashgraph, and that is why I believe, you know, 5G network will primarily ben benefit DLT such as Hashgraph. Although, you know, the focus right now for 5G is that it's going to benefit、um, uh, AI and self-driving cars. It will. For sure, but、uh, I think the one technology that's under the radar right now that will be the major beneficiary of 5G is Hashgraph. Nobody's paying attention to it, and、uh, once people realize, you know how、uh, 5G and Hashgraph is like match made in heaven, it'll be too late to invest in it. I think right now is perfect time. It's perfect timing,、um, and I saw that、uh, T-Mobile. For example, they are rolling out 5G in six cities across the U.S. by the end of 2019, and Dallas, Texas, is one of those cities. And we know that、uh, Dallas is the headquarters of Hedera Hashgraph. So I think it's exciting times. I think Hedera is definitely going to take advantage of that. You know, being one of the first cities to have 5G network, because I believe the first wave of applications built on Hashgraph will be on a 5G network. Uh, for 4G, it's great for testing purposes, for theoretical,、uh, you know, benchmarking purposes. But in order to 
for Hashgraph applications to be run in real life, it has to have it has to be run in real time, and 5G net network enables that, and that's why I I think you know it's uh, truly 5G and uh, Hashgraph it's a match made in heaven. So that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.